Hi there, Stratus. This is Tobias. Testing Kaboom Bees in um, Eldrazi infested modern. <coughs> um, yeah, I guess this is a keepable hand. Haven't played this deck in quite a long time. Um, I guess some of you might remember it's a combo where I deal 13 damage to every creature with Blasphemous Act and to make sure that my opponent has creatures I have the Forbidden Ore card and the combo with the Blasphemous Act obviously is the Boros Reckoner or the Hornet Nest because I will get 13 tokens that way and they all have Death Touch but Black black Inquisition of Kozilek might be problematic guess he takes the voice here I would take the voice might be Boros Reckoner. Okay, he takes a sweet time, tries to figure out my deck. Which is difficult if he um, doesn't know what I'm playing. Okay. Huh. Then he drew another voice. That's neat. Mm, do I want the second voice? Yes, I think I do. So this is void. Always yield to this and this is green. He was afraid of the voice. Oh, that's a new token. Mm, nice. They made different tokens the last time I used that card. And now Nomad Outpost. Okay, so we are playing against some sort of budget deck here. Ooh, Oriok Champion. That's a good one. Okay. Let's go attack. And he blocks. That's okay for me. Then I'm playing the Oriok Champion. Let him have the tokens, I don't mind. No. Budget Outpost. Oh, Nomad Outpost. Yes, but it's Budget Outpost as well. Um, really have no idea what my opponent is doing. He's running this land that's obviously bad and this very expensive card. Um, hmm. I don't know if there is a reason for running a land that, that comes f into play tapped. Forced comes into play tapped. You have no choice. Maybe it would be better to run City of Brass here. For my opponent, I mean. It obviously cost him the complete last turn. And City of Brass is not that expansive. No need to go budget when you have Flooded Strand. Pass to Exile. Um, yes. Lightning Helix. Okay, I don't mind Lightning Helix. That's alright. Another Oriok Champion. Do I want another Oriok Champion? Don't think so. One is enough. Let's attack with the elemental token. No blockers is sweet. And then let's cast the uh, Boros Reckoner. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. This they have made good. I don't need to choose to cast it for white white and something. I can just pay mana and it figures out um, it figures it out correctly. That's good. I like this. Um, always yield, always yes. Okay. So uh, my board position is quite nice here. 
building up for the big blast. No attacks, sure. There is the Blasphemous Act. That's nice. That's very nice. So, black, white, play the Blood Artist. And then let's go attack with Boros Reckoner and the Elemental here. Pass to Exile, okay. Yes, what do I want? What do I want? Guess we are, I am taking the planes here. Doesn't look like I'm getting land destroyed. Land destruction is not a thing that's going to happen here, I guess. Okay. Do I give him a token at the end of his turn? That's the big question. I think I do. Chandra, okay. That's the one that can deal one damage. That's a pity. Okay. You. But that means that I still want tokens on his side, right? You still get to have a lot of tokens. Sacred Foundry. Interesting. So I can play out most of my hand here if I take damage and that I will. So white, white. And next turn it's definitely time to Blasphemous Act him and me. If my Hornet Lest is still alive then. But maybe even if it isn't. Elemental is a big thing right now. I don't know if he can wipe the board. I won't block with the Hornet Nest because then Chandra can kill the Hornet Nest unless he activates Chandra before attackers, then I certainly will block. Yes, okay, now I will block. Battlefield Forge. Yes, sure. If he chooses to attack now, I will block with Hornet Nest. Four cards in hand. There might be burn spells among them. Engineered explosives with X2. That's not good. Main deck. Okay. Do I fire off the Blasphemous Act here? That's the big question. I guess I do. Um, I guess I do, right? Is it better to attack with all my creatures first? 
Hmm, might be actually. He might block them. No, it will be will be way better to just blasphemous act here. He will now kill my Oriok champion, I guess, in response, so that I don't get life. Uh, doesn't. Good. And this one equal to the number of explosive counters. Yes. Good. Don't kill my hornet nest now. But he's got to have some burn. And killing my hornet nest in response, of course, will wipe the board completely, which is okay by me. I don't need the Forbidden Orchard anymore then. Alright, that's 26 life. Or uh, is there F7 something? Oh yeah. Okay, that's a lot of life. Sure, kill them. The triggers are already on the stack, doesn't matter. And you're facing down a lot of Hornet tokens and I've got a lot of life. Quite happy with the outcome here. Fifty six life isn't shabby when your opponent plans to kill you with burn, I guess. Can he deal with certain certain thirteen my god thirteen Hornet tokens at two turn clock? Yes, uh, I don't want to do anything anymore. That was alright. Don't want to do anything in his turn. Is there a board wiper? Restoration Angel. No, that doesn't help you. Unless, of course, he's some kicky jicky. Um, but he doesn't have enough mana, right? I mean, if he plays kicky jicky now, takes my 13 damage and plays the Restoration Angel next turn, he wins. That looks like Kiki Jiki. No. <laughs> wow. That's pretty neat. <laughs> he had an out. Sundermore Hellkite. Still a good card. Haven't seen him in a long time. Either while is the worst possible draw here. And now my opponent might have ample time to. Turn this match around, this game around at least. Still on 16 life, Sandamore Halkite, yeah, good. And Chandra will take over the game now, so yes, pretty well played. And there's the Kiki Jiki, and next turn there is the Restoration Angel, which means I'm dead. That's okay. Okay, here I certainly want Rector's Charm. Uh, didn't see any islands, doesn't need his graveyard. Didn't play a lot of creatures, but had planeswalkers. Still, I don't think that I need the Ulvenwald tracker here. Mm. Yeah, let's try it like this. But the Sundermore Hellkite certainly was a good move. That's a pretty nice hate card against me, main deck. Um, okay, I would like to play first, please. And with color red mana, this hand would be okay. Like this, it's a mulligan. This hand 
has to do it but i can't cast much things here yeah keeping it uh hornet nest no uh, i mean i like my hornet nest but 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 winds like tease i like my hornet nest but i need mana sources right now is what i wanted to tell you I won't fetch at the end of his turn expecting a discard spell here sword sees yes taking rector's charm i presume because i can't cast my voice right now i would take rector's charm he doesn't he doesn't like the voices good blasphemous act is a bad draw again i won't fetch at the end of his turn to increase my chances of drawing a land war of omens okay now i'm fetching Time to garden, yes. I'm a combo deck, my life total doesn't matter too much. Forbidden or card, okay. It's a land source, so I'm playing it. But I'm giving him way too much time. Overgrown tomb. Yes. Paying the life. Green, white, voice. He can't counter it, but he can kill it. Keeping for what reason am I keeping the Rector's Charm up? I don't know. I'm not expecting artifacts. Oblivion Ring. Okay. Exiling the voice. Okay. Five cards in his hand. Arid Mesa. Alright, fetching a red mana source. Mm, I guess since I have two black, I'm taking red and white. Then I won't do anything. Nomad outpost, okay. Outpost Siege. He chose cards. Okay. Volcano Helion is a great card that I don't need right now. It's a nice combo with the Boros Reckoner. But I don't think that I will be seeing Boros Reckoner too soon here. Can I do something with the Rector's Jam? I can exile his graveyard. That won't matter, I guess. Uh, exile your graveyard. And then you can do with my hand whatever you want. Don't think that he will run delf creatures, but you never know. And it's certainly not like I'm going to do anything with my mana here. I'd like a Boros Reckoner now, or another voice, that would be great.
stomping ground is certainly not great. This deals an amount of damage to a target creature. Mm, and to me, so I don't want to play this one right now. Uh, maybe I should have boarded out this one against him because he's running burn. Yes, and now the kicky chicky and then I'm done for, right? Outpost Siege is an interesting card. This looks like Kiki Chiki. Sandamore Hellkite. Alright. You, sir, will get a token at the end of turn. Because I need to stabilize the board. Hornet nest. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six creatures, making this cast cost three mana. That's good. Um. I hope my math is correct here, but I think it is. Paying three mana, wiping the board, getting on the tokens, and again he's at 16 life, now 15, just as the game before. <coughs> Could play the Volcano Helion because I can't pay the echo cost. Yes, he can't cast Sortsies unless he can kill at least one Hornet token. Which he can, I guess. Another Sundermore Hellkite will do it. What was this? Day of Judgment. All right. Phyrexian Arena. Mm -hmm. Boros Reckoner. That is good. Doing nothing. But I'm only two burn spells away of being killed and he has a lot of card draw and past text I certainly will help him. So I'm pretty sure that this match is lost. Yes, giving me one more mana certainly is good. It won't matter, but it increases my chance of drawing something useful. Pia and Kira... Alright. Do I need to wipe the board? Hmm. Might have to. I might have to wipe the board, I'm pretty sure I will. Yes. Okay. Aurea of Champion, that is nice. That's nice. That's at least one life that I get. That's good. Always yield to this. 
always yes, always yield. Mm, yes, sure. Back at five. Um, I'm still wiping the board, right? Yes, I could, but then I die to any burn spell. So that's not good. So I have to wipe board. Bye bye board. Next turn I probably cast the Volcano Halion. But again, I have little faith in, 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 in winning. Certainly fighting here. He is just outdrawing me. Yes, another burn spell and I'm done for. Blood artist, not bad. Um, okay, let's see. Let's attack. And then let's blood artist here. And then kill the spirit token with the Helion. This one, okay. One, okay. Have I succeeded in doing anything by this move? I don't know. <coughs> but I have a Volcano Helion on the battlefield that can deal damage. That's great. Look, and he found an Ajani Vengeant. That's not good. Because he can Lightning Helix me with the Ajani Vengeant and then he again he needs only one burn spell to deal with me. And I need to pay the echo cost. Echo cost is not high right now, but I need to pay it. There's an Urborg turning this one into a swamp. Not that it is any useful. This combination will prove too hard for me. He's seven cards deeper in his deck and has an Oblivion Ring. Well, at least I won't have to pay echo costs here. He can't tap my Oriok Champion, that's nice. With the Ajani Vengeant, I mean, because he's red. He can't lightning helix me because then he will lose his Ajani Vengeant. Maybe it's not relevant if he has another burn spell in hand, it certainly isn't. He can tap down one of my lands. That's not interesting too. What? Why? That was a bad move. That means I can kill Ajani Vengeant if he doesn't have Pass to Exile. Either way, not a good draw. Attack a Jenny Vengeant. Okay. Playing the Either while, not that it will do me any good. <coughs> Shambling went. That's problematic. Now he's got a four turn clock on me. 
but I'm feeling like being under a four turn clock uh, the whole time. Maybe these are one offs in his deck. Hmm. Restoration Angel, I need an out. Is this a kicky jicky? No, it's a Kia and Pira Nalara. All right, that means I am dead next turn. Seven damage. Yes. Great, another either while. I can gain one life by forbidden ore card. I can always draw another blasphemous act. Lightning bolt. That should be it. He's got so much mana. And burial rights. Okay. Yes. So that is five damage, yes. And now I'm dead, right? Yes. Getting a creature token onto the battlefield. But that won't matter because he can sacrifice the other token in response. And that means I'm dead and I thank you for watching.